For linear equations, one of our forms was called the slope-intercept form. This form, this form turned out to be very natural to write down from many stories. It was the form y equals mx plus b, where this number m, which we called the slope, was the rate of change. Or another way to think about it is how much y increases by if x increases by 1. And then the second number, which we called the intercept, gave us a starting value. That is, the value of y when x is 0. We're going to be making a lot of use of the corresponding form for an exponential equation, what we call the base multiplier form. This is the form y equals a number a times a number b to the power x. This number b, which we'll call the multiplier, this is what we multiply y by if x increases by 1. And this number, which in the name of the form is the base that we refer to, is the starting value. It's just like up above, the value of y when x is 0. So in the slope-intercept form, m is the number that's repeatedly added. In the base multiplier form, b is the number that's repeatedly multiplied. We can write down the base multiplier form directly from a table or from a story that lets us write down a table as long as we're looking at the multiplier when x goes up by 1. So for example, suppose we have this table showing the population of a town after t years. Notice in each row the time goes up by 1. And calculating, we see, let's see, 11, 780 divided by 12,400. Here we multiply by 0.95. One ninety one divided by eleven seven eighty. Here we multiplied by point nine five again. We get the starting value is twelve thousand four hundred. The multiplier is point nine five. Looking at the base multiplier form. My equation is y equals the starting value, 12,400, times the multiplier, 0.95, to the power t, to the power of my independent variable.